so behind. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I'm so behind with my videos. It means I'm so, so, so behind with my unboxings. All I can tell you is that this is the latest one. I think that means this is May box that came out at the end of April. But honestly, I've got, I've got three or four of them over there that I haven't opened yet. I'm not sure which is which. None of them have got labels on. So, of course, when I got them, I un opened them intending to film them. But then, you know, you end up with a pile of boxes that all look the same and I didn't write on what they are. So I've literally just opened this one from the original postage packing so I know that this is the latest one I received so let's get into it it smells nice right so this is one of the witchy essentials ones and crafting magic has rebranded all their boxes now as pagan parcels so crafting magic I think is the shop and pagan parcels is the subscription service and then you get different ones of the boxes Cinnamon oil, that's what I can smell. Mmm, it's yummy. Some nice tissue paper to add to our collection. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Let's put that there. So we've got brown spell candles. That's interesting. We haven't had anything brown. I think we had some bronze ones. And, you know, orange is quite common. But we've not had any brown ones before. So that's quite cool. Is there a paper in here that tells you? Usually there's papers in the bottom that tell you what they're for and all the correspondences and everything. Yeah, come out, come out, come out. This has got patchouli in it. I can smell it. Okay, here we go. So, what have we got? This is about cinnamon leaf. which is cinnamon there we go cinnamon leaf essential oil so that's all about cinnamon magical properties general uses mundane uses avoid cinnamon during pregnancy that one comes with a warning so there's our cinnamon leaf so there's brown candles that's this one so you get a sheet telling you all about your brown candles Earth magic, obviously, grounding and all that. Uh, root chakra, mm, solid solidity, neutrality, practicality. Working with brown energy, the feet chakras are used. Feet chakras. I didn't know you had feet chakras. Okay. <laughs> so burdock root. There's our page all about burdock root. Sacred to Thor. The heavenly bear who reigned over the summer storms and that is burdock root it's not particularly pretty so the seeds are made to provide relief from measles arthritis tonsillitis throat pain viruses common colds etc and the root was used to treat gout rheumatism ulcers acne eczema and psoriasis so basically anything that itches or gets inflamed so it must be an anti-inflammatory of some sort it's also a diuretic and a blood purifying agent antioxidant interesting so it's got quite a few different bits and pieces that it can be used for it's a cleansing root burdock leaves and stems in addition to their use as a vegetable didn't know that uh, are an appetite stimulant, stimulant and good for gas. Okay. Uh, magical uses, it's a feminine Venus element of water. So cleansing magic, love magic, purification, all that kind of stuff. And it's got a whole list here of different names. I actually only know it's burdock. I've never known it to be called any of these, but... Oh, I've heard of burr seeds. But I didn't know that was burdock. I thought it was a different plant. It could still be. Okay, so burdock. That's a new one. I didn't have that one before. The next one we have is Pennyroyal. 
another association with Venus. So I wonder if this, oh, this might have been the Beltane box. Cooking herb from the Greeks and Romans, used with oregano and coriander. It's used to make herbal teas, which although not proven to be dangerous to healthy adults in small doses, is not recommended due to its known toxicity to the liver. So you probably can't use it while you're pregnant or anything like that either. Consumption to animals, infants and children can be fatal. So that will be going in a safe place. That will be going in my poisons drawer. I have a little shelf with a box that I put all my poisons in so that the dogs can't get to them. And magical uses include peace and tranquility, carried to avoid seasickness and for strength and endurance. Relieves blockages of the throat chakra. Excellent herb to use when gaining knowledge of reincarnation. Also known as stinky balm, which is what we know it as. It's what we call it, stinky balm, because it absolutely reeks. It's like the worst mouldy, nasty smell mixed with garlic, mixed with cat pee. <laughs> it really is horrible. It's not too bad in a herb form, but the, the actual plant ugh it's awful awful stuff so there we go that's that one and as you can see you get a good amount of herbs i think it's 15 grams of each herb you get so they're not stingy with these our next one is hibiscus which is a sun plant as many flowers are Look at those beautiful colors can you see them <laughs> gorgeous Gorgeous colours. Beautiful reds and purples and greens and blacks and ebonies. Ugh. So pretty. So pretty. So this is, oh look at that, hibiscus is a sun plant associated with Venus. So yeah, I think this is the Beltane box. Used as an offering to the goddess Kali and Lord Ganesha in Hindu worship. It's antifungal, emollient, refrigerant, and I'm not even going to try and say that word. I don't know what it means and I don't know what it says. Uh, it's often used as a hair treatment. Used to treat high blood pressure in African and Asian traditions. High in vitamin C and antioxidants and good for dissolving phlegm, etc. in the treatments of colds. Magical uses... Love, lust, passion, all that kind of stuff. And it's also used as um, for uh, dreams and psychic abilities and prophecies and all that kind of thing. It's beautiful. Mm, it smells nice too. So that's our third major herb. Now we've got bottles and things here, which that's a bottle of alcohol. Ooh, nice bottle. Look at that bottle. Ooh, it's like sea glass. Pretty. And we've got two of these little jam jar type things. Empty. So that must be for this, our making bake. Making bake. Magical tinctures. Oh, okay. I just did a magical tincture the other day, actually. They're pretty easy. You put dry stuff into wet stuff, mix it up, add some oil and shake it a lot. <laughs> and there's magic involved but you know that's the basics so this is for well that's how to make it so it's exactly the same as i made the other day but it doesn't say what it's for yet Let's open it up what have we got cloves patchouli cinnamon sandalwood Oh, right. So we've got a few different ones. We've got a guardian tincture used to anoint yourself or objects for protection. So that would be a good one for beginners to use just generally or say for a new car or join you creating a circle or something like that. A money tincture. Anoint before spending money. <laughs> oh, that's it. It's just those two. So it's about making rather than the spell work. It's all about how to make the tincture. 
cool. I like I like making tinctures. Here's our little bottles. So you can put your put your bits and pieces into the alcohol and then you sieve it and you put it into the bottles. Now I wonder if that's what this is for. Maybe these are for putting the mixture in and keeping it shaken and then when you strain it you put it into here because they didn't do that last time. I don't normally bother to strain mine unless they've got a lot of lumps and bumps in and you're supposed to drink it but if it's for anointing I don't bother sieving it. Lovely. So that's a nice one for, well, beginners and more advanced people alike, because you can always tweak it. It's only got basics in there, uh, so you can tweak it to whatever you want it to be. There you go. That is our Beltane box for May 2017. If you are interested in getting your own boxes from Peg and Parcels, you can go to their site at craftingmagic.co.uk. There is a link to pagancastles.co.uk as well. And you can go and sign up and get your stuff. Now, they do do international postage. Some items cannot be posted. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure a bottle of alcohol like this probably can't be posted. But he does generally substitute things that can be posted. You know, a, a bit of alcohol is easy to get hold of anywhere, really. It doesn't really matter if you don't get that specifically, but I think some of the oils and things can't necessarily be transported depending on what they are and depending on what state they're going to and what country they're going to and everything else. So if you're in, in any doubt at all, go on to Facebook, onto the Crafting Magic page and pay, or the Pagan Parcels page and have a word with Terry, tell him where you are and he will check into what you can actually get sent to you and whether it's worth you signing up. And he will also be able to tell you what substitutes he puts in for different items that he may or may not be able to send to you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.